And the word was made flesh, and we are Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now that we are at our death. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may on his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this Mass, we remember in a special way Pearl Palatroni. The entrance antiphon for July 17th, Monday, is on page 850. As for me, in justice I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Jesus came to overthrow Satan's power and to set us free from everything that would hold us back from knowing, loving, and saving God, who is who has loved us and also has brought us into his kingdom through his mercy and love. And so the times that we have failed to accept Jesus, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for forgiveness and mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who, for the faith they profess, are counted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. A new king, one who knew nothing of Joseph, came to power in, e in Egypt. He said to his subjects, Look, how numerous and powerful the people of the children of Israel are growing, more so than ourselves. Come, let us deal shrewdly with them to stop their increases. Otherwise, in time of war, they too may join our enemies to fight us and so leave our country. Accordingly, taskmasters were set over the children of Israel to oppress them with forced labor. Thus they had to build for the Pharaoh supply cities of Pithon and Ramesses. Yet, the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread. The Egyptians then dreaded the children of Israel and reduced them to cruel slavery, making life bitter for them with hard work in mortar and brick and all kinds of field work the whole cruel fate of slaves. Pharaoh then commanded his subjects, throw into the river every boy that is born to the Hebrews, but you may let the girls live. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
the responsorial psalm. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Had not the Lord been with us, let Israel say, had not the Lord been with us, when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive, would they have fury inflamed against us. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us, torrent would have swept over us, over us then would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did not leave us a prey to their teeth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. We were rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare, and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And one's enemies will be those of his household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you, receives me. Whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is righteous will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink, because he is a disciple, amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. When Jesus finished giving these commands to his 12 apostles, he went away from that place to teach and to preach in their towns. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus told his disciples that he did not come to bring peace but a sword. And we understand that the sword of which Jesus is talking about is not a physical weapon but a spiritual weapon that cuts through our inner core to expose the corruption of our sinful thoughts and intentions, as well as also to expose the lies and deception of Satan and his kingdom of darkness. Scripture also speaks of the word of God as a two-edged sword that pierces the hearts and spirits of people by discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. So Jesus, in short, he came so that he will fight the forces of evil. He came to bring peace. He came to restore the kingdom of God here on earth. That's why he's saying his mission will bring division among people. And this division is not a physical one. It will be a spiritual. And I think we are experiencing this. A daughter having division with her mother or a son having division with her father, with his father. Maybe this, we can give an example of um, our religion or coming to church. Sometimes 
you find that parents are coming to church, their children don't want to come to church. And also, the same applies, maybe the, the, their sons want to go to another religion. And so this is bringing division. But Christ has assured us that this is all about the power of Satan. And he has come to help us fight these evil forces so that we can, he can bring peace again and reunion among ourselves. But what is important is to put Christ first, to carry our crosses. And if we want to be true disciples of his, we should put him first before we think of fighting the evil forces. We cannot fight the evil forces with, with our own power, but we need Jesus' power to help us fight these evil forces that bring division and that bring hatred so that we can restore love and we can restore peace. And the kingdom of God is the, the kingdom of peace, love, and compassion. And this is what Jesus has come to show to the people, that God is loving and is compassionate to all. Let us bring our prayers and petitions before the God who lavishes us with his love. That the church throughout the world might be more and more dedicated to spreading the good news of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the people in those parts of the world suffering from drought or contaminated water supplies, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For all who work in the fields of communications, that they might serve to better increase the understanding among peoples, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For refuge from the summer's heat for those who are homeless, especially children and the elderly, let us pray to the Lord. For the vocations of women and men who dedicate their lives to the spreading of God's word, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For all who work, who all who are vacationing or traveling, for their renewal and refreshment, and for their safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, oh God, open our hearts to your word that we might bear fruit for your kingdom to be shared with all the world. We ask this and all good things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed is God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes a prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your, your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, so we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now let us, in the ways that our Savior taught us, call God our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of all of us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. The sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her young by your altar, O Lord of hosts. My King and my God, blessed are they who dwell in your house and are singing your praises. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace.